and here's a wonderful Dodge. I'm thinking it's a Dodge Dart because I can remember by the yellow Dart from last year. So let's find out if I'm wrong. All right. La 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 la. I'm just singing because there's music playing. Yeah, it's a Dart 270, guys. Amazing. And it also has this old Dodge logo here. This, well, triangle logo or whatever it is called. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. And here, guys, is a Pontiac. I'm thinking it's a Tempest. We will find out, of course. It's a 326 cubic inch. And, well, let's find out if this is a Tempest. Ay, 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 ay. Well, it's just a Pontiac only. Hmm. And here we have a Ford Mustang, fifth generation, in a highway petrol, California highway petrol livery. This is also a very nice idea. If my car would be black, I would also think about that. But well, mine is grey. So I'm not from the California highway or the Italian highway because it's actually Fiat. <laughs> and here's a Ford Mustang convertible again, it's the sixth generation. And I would say this is an US specification because of the side mirrors. Well, let's see if it's also having the red tail lights. Yeah, red side marker. This is, of course the US specification yeah definitely and here wonderful Ford Mustang convertible an old one I'm thinking it's an 67 maybe and here guys Dodge Challenger RT the yellow engine and here again the Mustang 289 cubic inches la 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 so and here guys a wonderful Chevy Corvette C3 Also with a T-top, which is of course open, Stingray, and they wrote it together in one word. Already the facelift. And I hope you don't hear too much about the music. Seems like today is not this much as in last year, maybe also because of the weather. But also there are of course more meetings now. Uh, this guys is a Chevy Camaro ZL1 or ZL1, depending on how you are pronouncing it in your part of the world. Also a wonderful color. Oh guys, the 1957 Super Chief, I think it was a Pontiac, or was it the Oldsmobile, not Pontiac, it's open now, so we can also take a sneaky peeky to the engine guys, yeah Pontiac, look, look here, Dodge Coronet 500, We'll take a look over here to the inside. I hope you don't hear me. I, don't, I hope you don't hear the music. I mean, I could also try to add some music, and maybe you don't hear the other music. Then, oh, and here, look again the old Dodge logo with the triangle. Well, oh, just screwed in the middle, and even here on the in here, the new cap Coronet 
500 guys. Okay guys, a Chevy Corvette C2 with boat tail. I'm not sure if I already have filmed it or if it's if it has probably only swept the place to a little bit of shadow. If not, I'm just filming it again, no matter. Beautiful car. And here is a C3. C2 is already leaving. It's also beautiful. Lots of instruments. Crossfire. Crossfire injection. Here guys, Ford Mustang convertible in a wonderful blue, fifth generation facelift. Yet I haven't seen any pre-facelift of them, like as the one with the tow hook, tow hook, like as in last year. And uh, the owner of them, of that one, was also telling me that the 69 on the trailer was actually the year of birth of his wife so not the dirty thing happening in the trailer <laughs> here's a Dodge um, Charger in a wonderful paint a dream for every mechanic because you cannot get anywhere <laughs> So, actually a nightmare. But anyway, a beautiful car. This here is most probably also a Ford Explorer. And I can remember that this one has been also sold in Germany even quite often. I'm thinking also because of the uh, Jurassic Park movies. Oh, guess the car. Malibu Classic, so this must be a Chevrolet. Ah, this is easier to maintain. Chevelle, so it's a Chevelle Malibu. So Malibu Classic back then has been the equipment package. I'm thinking at least. What wheels? I'm also curious when I'm going to show you my Hot Wheels collection here on this channel. Cheap is a big seller here in Germany as well, even until now. So also you cannot get uh, Dodge and Chrysler anymore here, at least not officially. But Jeep is no problem. This is a Jeep Wrangler. Small car, but also cool car. Open rooftop. Very nice. But of course, slow because this is not miles, this is kilometers. Oh no, it is miles. No, miles is the blue one. 110. <laughs> so. F250 Ford pickup truck. Let's try to turn it from here. Here, guys, this is a Pontiac Firebird. 
I almost missed it because I was just starting my last round because it's seeming like there is uh, nothing else coming. Could be also because of the weather today, because it's really very hot. I don't know what's that. Sounding like someone is um, killing his tires. And here got another Ford Mustang. Thinking it's a 69er. And this year is actually remembering me design wise about the Opel Kadett B. But this guy is, is of course something different. It's also bigger than an Opel Kadett, of course. This is a Chevrolet um, Nova 2. Really beautiful. And when I'm seeing this one, then I'm also, of course, knowing why. Uh, Fekwick told me once uh, when he was seeing an Opel Kadett B that it's for him looking like a shrinked uh, Chevy Nova because when I'm seeing this it really is like this Chevy Nova SS guys beautiful well guys as you're seeing here my car again the fake Dodge is how I'm calling it With the Dodge Neon station wagon the only one maybe <laughs> well there are actually also some other people who have made it the same way um, well so this means guys that I am leaving because well it's incredible hot incredible hot around 33 degrees in the shadow so in the sunlight is even hotter Whew. and yeah it's also seeming like there are not uh, so many people coming anymore so I'm calling it for today and I believe with my car now back to home of course together with my new fellow <laughs> with my new fellow oh well how can i open it if i'm not having my keys hmm huh? now it's open so so well with my fellow inside it's still saying fiat <laughs> um yeah Siggy, and Siggy is coming from the name Siegbert. so guys that's it for today for julie I'm just opening it to let some air flowing out of the car, some hot air. So, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. And have a great time. And always remember if you're owning a Dodge Tipo, a Fiat Tipo, you can always make a Dodge Neon out of it. Bye bye.